Hey everyone, I'm back and yeah, today I got another showcase video and yeah, of course this time I got Stranger Things Part 2 as promised with yeah, three new figures and I just realized that I forgot Bob, how could I do that? Okay, so I guess now we can start. Yeah, sorry for that, I really forgot Barb. And yeah, anyway, so now move on to the showcase video. And yeah, these are four minifigures from the Netflix series called Stranger Things. And yeah, I really enjoyed this show as I've already said in part one with the Demogorgon. Yeah, you know. And yeah, so I also wanted to make those four characters and yeah, I'm gonna just say it here first we got Steve, Nancy, Jonathan and of course Barb. For those who know this show, they also really know them. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Anyway, I'm talking too much so just slide into the 360 and start with Barb because I forgot her. So here's Barbara Holland, I guess, from Stranger Things, the really most underrated character in the entire show, or at least season one. And yeah, so I'm just gonna first show this figure now. And yeah, it's actually a pretty easy figure, not so many details, like yeah, I painted the entire face. The head was, uh, the hair was from, I don't know, I think it was from a Lego minifigure series, collectible minifigure series, hair. And I slightly modified it and yeah, also shade painted it to look like her hair color. And yeah, you probably can tell that she is taller than Nancy here. That's because I... Um, extended her body and yeah if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to do this just write it in the comments because I've heard that a broken brick and I guess someone else asked me if I could do a tutorial on that but I don't know that's just wait yeah write it in the comments if you want to and yeah her jacket is made out of fabric it's actually yeah pretty easy and then I just painted it in a purple color with citadel paints and yeah then I painted on shoes and blue jeans so that's basically it for this figure really easy so here we got Nancy definitely uh, figure with more details than of course Barb and yeah let's just start with her bed and now we all got this Negan memes and jokes so let's get that out of the way and yeah so her bed is as you can tell is made out of wood wait would you focus yeah now and it was made out of wood that I modified to fit into a Lego figure hand here, as you can see. And then I also um, sculpted it on a bit here at the top to make it like flat. And also I catch some very small like needles to represent those things yeah, that Jonathan puts into the uh, bed to make it look more badass and yeah it looks it turned out pretty accurate so now to the figure the head was also entirely painted and yeah I guess I painted everyone's 
heads entirely, so there's nothing from the LEGO group. Anyway, so yeah, I really wanted to capture the likeness from, I forgot her name, from the actress of Nancy. And yeah, anyway, her hair is, I guess, from the LEGO Elf series. That girl, I don't know her name, I, I don't really care. And yeah, which I also modified with green stuff to make it look yeah, more accurate, of course. And now her jacket was made out of E-tape. I also tried to add some shading, as you can see here. There's a little bit more um, light red on there. And I also cut it off some other e-tape pieces and glued them onto to represent some like pockets you know and yeah also the pelt was sculpted out of green stuff and yeah it turns out pretty cool and now if you put off her like e-tape jacket you can kinda tell that it also curved her torso like to make her look more like a girl but yeah after then I realized that she wanted to make her with her jacket and I was like well shit anyway so also there are some details on her body which are looking pretty nice and yeah I gave her some white hands to represent like how you call it? Gloves? Winter gloves? Uh, I don't think that they are called like that. Anyway, so yeah, the belt was actually from a Star Wars Han Solo um, figure, but the legs were modified and painted to look like jeans. I got this idea from Avid Soti, you probably know him already from the customizing tutorial and all that stuff. And yeah, I also painted on some boots, and that's pretty much it for Nancy Wheeler. Yeah, pretty cool fig. Wait, I'm gonna give her bad back. Yeah. So move on to Jonathan. So here is the psycho Jonathan. Well, he isn't really a psycho, he's just... Yeah, pretty shy and all that. Anyway, so now, the face is also entirely painted as the ones before. And yeah, now to his hair. His hair is actually entirely sculpted with... Focus, please. With um, Fimo. And I really, really liked how it turned out. It got many details, and then I also painted on some highlights with darker brown, more dark brown, not darker. And yeah, I actually sculpted this onto a fin from Star Wars hair. And yeah, because I just got one at that time, and I was like, well, I don't know who I could use this for, so I'm just gonna use it for Jonathan. Now, I think I also really captured the likeness from... Charlie Heaton, the actor, 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 from him, from Jonathan, of course. And yeah, now, the um, jacket is also made out of E-tape. It was actually um, pretty easier, pretty much easier than the one from Nancy, because, easily because I got black E-tape, so... I didn't have to paint it and yeah it hasn't got so many details as the one from Nancy and yes yeah, so now move on to his oh wait first gonna show off his camera his camera looks pretty good I I, I didn't really um, base it off the one in his show I just made it like in my opinion how it would look like so I just catched one, um, the Lego group, here product placement, 
the Lego group um, camera and then modified it with a stud here you can probably tell there glued it onto and yeah so that's pretty much it so now move on to the her uh, his excuse me body so his body is definitely pretty um it has many details yeah and i first painted it in a i guess it's a medium blue color i don't know i forgot it and then i painted on the side on the side those like straps his uh, i don't know how to call this design but yeah, it's just like his regular what he is wearing in his show I guess he's wearing it at a fight with the Demogorgon and also at a fight with Steve. But I don't want to spoil anything. So, yeah. Now to the um, boots and legs, you know. <laughs> and yeah, so I first just painted his brown pelt. I guess he has that in the show, but I'm not pretty sure. And I also painted on the jeans design the same one. I set it here on Nancy, again inspired by um, Vizzuti, sorry, and yeah, also brown pants here. His hands are just regular skin colored hands from the Lego group. Why am I re why am I speaking like this? Yes, I'm, I'm reading, anyway. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this figure. Many details and really cool character from Stranger Things. Now move on to the asshole Steve or yeah. So here is Steve the asshole Harrington. Now why, why am I calling him an asshole? Because he is one in the show. Well just in the first seven episodes but in the eighth one he's like turning good again or is he already turning good again in the seventh I don't know I forgot it maybe I'm just gonna have to rewatch the entire season yes I guess that's what I'm going to do anyway now I really like this character and how this character turned good again um, in the show but yeah I don't want to say too much about this show because just watch it it's pretty cool and yeah, let me say straight off, I also built this car for him. It's just a really spontaneous build, nothing special. And I did it because I'm working on a um, stop motion right now with Steve. And here you can see a part of it. And yeah, that's actually all what I got so far. And yeah, it's not the best, of course. And yeah, keep in mind that it is my first stop motion, like ever. And yeah, anyway, so that's why I also built his really cool car. Um, <laughs> sorry. Of course, start with the figure. Now, his head was also kind of all painted by me but yeah the eyes and the mouth were from the Lego group and it was actually first um, a yellow head and yeah so I just painted it in in a uh, skin color to fit with the other figures and yeah because I haven't got so many um, skin colored, colored Heads right now, I'm kind of broke of Lego heads, so I just used um, a yellow head and painted it in skin color. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Anyway, I kind of have to order some on Bricklink or Firestar Toys, these are pretty cool stores. 
definitely check them out if you are a customizer. So yeah, also painted on the eyebrows and a bit of stubble there because I think he has it. First wanted to make um, his face where he's like totally damaged with blue eye and all that stuff but then I was like nah not really I don't really have time for that so maybe I'm going to do that later but I don't think so now his hair was one of those facial hairs and yeah I don't know from which figure this is can't remember on anyone who's really important who has it I just thought it works perfectly for Steve Harrington yeah, and then I just painted it in a brown color, and also shade painted it with a light brown color. Now move on to his torso. His torso is like a kind of like green blue color. I don't know. And yeah, the same color is on the arms, and yeah, I also painted here a little bit of the shirt to continue on his like jeans and he yeah, also outlined it with a black color and now his watch is from Minific Cat Minific Cat is pretty cool and yeah usually you guys are buying it on their website I guess but yeah um, if you guys probably know I kinda come from Taiwan and this year I'm also going to back to Taiwan. Maybe I'm gonna make a vlog. That's pretty cool <laughs> Anyway, I'm actually pretty excited because there are many things to do with customizing and I don't know if you know him. His name is Lego minifigure art customs on Instagram and on Flickr his name is like Eric I don't know and he makes really cool customs and he comes out of Taiwan and yeah, when I told him that I'm going to um, Taiwan, he was like, hey, that's pretty cool because in January there's ca some kind of like um, brick fair there and it's the first time, but then I was like, no, I'm not going to go there now in January because I'm going to go there in October. That's not so good. But he said maybe it's gonna be maybe there's gonna be another one at that time. I hope so. Anyway, now I talk too much. Oh, wait, what I wanted to say is this watch is from Minificat, and I bought like four of these in Taiwan, and they were pretty cheap. So yeah, if you live in Taiwan, just search for a store with those Minificat things. Anyway, I'm I'm talking way too much. Yeah, now his jeans were just painted in my light grey color and then also I also painted on some facial boots to fit to the rest of him. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope that, um, that the actor from him saw this figure on Instagram, but yeah, that's he didn't saw it, so it's pretty sad. Yeah, so if you want to help me to do that, just go to my Instagram page and like search on my stream, on my Instagram photo stream, just search for this pic and comment and tag the actor. His name is Uncle Jeezy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Pretty funny name. Again, really cool, really like this figure. And yeah, so now we are going to conclude part 2 from my Stranger Things custom minifigures and yeah so yeah that's about it for this showcase video and yeah here you can see I kinda um, recreated this scene where Jonathan is kicking the shit out of Steve yeah I know Bob isn't there at that time but yeah I'm again speaking too much about this show yeah, so that's about it for part two. I know I said that maybe um, Elemental Customs is gonna be in here, but he didn't finish his um, 11 custom <laughs> at that time, at this time right now. 
I don't know why. I, I guess he said he lost his um, painting tool. That's that kind of sucks. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm just gonna wait because I also got a Dustin. I don't know if I have already mentioned him in my first showcase video. But yeah, also got a Dustin custom. Yeah, in case. And I'm also working on Noah Schnapp's character called Will Bias. And yeah, I just searched the pieces and kinda modified his hair, but yeah, I don't really have so much of Will Bias. So anyway, this is this video. Hope you liked it and stay tuned for part 3, maybe and hopefully with Elemental Customs. And yeah, like this video. Comment, share it, whatever. Tag the actor um, on my Steve photo on Instagram, and I'm gonna see you guys 